Look, we can spare an hour. We're always quiet on a Monday. Oh, great. I'll, I'll tell Adam. Was the dress code for a gender reveal? <laughs> Birthday suit. I, I actually, scrap that one. Oh, don't joke, Nick. It doesn't suit you. David, David, quick, quick, quick. Yeah, it'd be a lot quicker, Gran, if you just said each word once. No, oh, hush. Stephen, tell him. Adam's organising a surprise gender reveal party at the bistro at 6.30? Yeah, fine. She doesn't know. It's usually how surprises work. Although, it's a bit of a surprise that she got pregnant in the first place, wasn't it? Oh. Oh. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Just chatting about you. Uh, why? What's happened? I don't know. Just talking baby names, you know? I was thinking, David. Oh, it's about you as ever. Now, after the dog. Although Mum wanted Gail, but I thought that was a bit cruel. We are not talking baby names. Don't let him wind you up. Stephen, can I just have a quick chat? It's just a work thing. Uh, sure. Shoot. Did they know something? About what? Anything. The letter, the fact that Damon's tried to call me. Damon call? Oh, it's Nick's fault. He's tried to contact him by the license. Well, what did he say? Nothing. I didn't give him a chance. Well, it's, forget him. You know, block his number. It's over. The baby's yours and Adam's. So it's going to be fine. Right, so I was thinking a couple of uh, traditional Shraddha dishes, including your mum's favourites. Pumpkin curry. Pumpkin curry, yes. And the cooking will be shared by... You two. Competition. Well, no, together, collaborating. You're just dirty every utensil in the house while I do all the work. You're the one that's on TikTok. Yeah. You're the one that's always on your phone. Come on, guys, surely we can work together for your mum's memory. Don't we only ever get pumpkins in Halloween? Correct, Amunda, so you will be using a... So it's butternut squash curry. I think I remember mum cooking pumpkin curry. Then she cook it when we go back from that school trip in York, when you twisted your ankle walking the walls. Yeah. Yeah, she did. She did. So let's add that to the list. What? Memories. So, recipes, ingredients, memories. Over to you. This is an Anita Fest thing. You know, late wife, new bird. I mean, I just find when I talk about setup. She knows he's always in my head, so yeah. Yeah, you're right. And I can always out with the food. Nope. I offered apparently Dev's already got a plan. Are you trying to get her coming? It's just gonna be a couple of drinks, some nibbles and a balloon. <sighs> right, well who's bringing the rats and snails and the puppy dog tails or the sugar and spice and everything nice? Stop moaning about it being a gender reveal. It's just a way to get both families in the same room so Sarah and I can stand up and tell everybody all this gossiping, all this judging, it stops right here. We're together, we're having a baby, deal with it. Hey. 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 Can I just get a sausage roll to go, please? Of course, I'll come. You have me at Nibbles. Uh, Woo! Huh. Oh, Ryan, right, here's a thought. Routine-wise, rather than workout, breakfast, shower, how about <clears throat> workout, shower, breakfast? That's what I think. Well, I wouldn't use you as an air freshener. And I bet you've left a bum-shaped patch on that fridge. Right. See? Yeah, I can be a bit oblivious sometimes, or worse. Worse? Yeah, yeah, I can be sometimes unkind. Daisy. Yeah, I was thinking about what you said. And I was harsh. Uh, you know, not because I feel stuff for her. I mean, pretended to be Crystal was... She crossed the line, Carl. Yeah, she did. Yeah. I suppose you've been through too much to be enemies, haven't you? Yeah, I will apologise. But it doesn't mean we'll be mates. All right, well, good. So, breakfast, shower, apology. Don't skip the shower, right? You sink. You OK? Right, how does this sound? Hi, Adam. If anyone has said anything to you, please say, because I know something is wrong. Oh. You've sent this? No, no. He he knows he knows something. I saw him in the cafe, and him and Daniel were just all cagey. It's not what you think. So there is something. I knew it. No, it's it's a surprise party, gender reveal, 
Adam's organizing it. Adam knows the gender. I mean, I've not even heard from the clinic. No, no, I, I, the, the company, I think, uh, that organizes the balloons, the gender people liaise with the clinic. So Adam doesn't know anything. Oh, you'll, you'll find out together. Goodness, okay. Yeah, no, that's what I want. I want Damon gone and it's me and Adam, you know, solid, bringing up this baby together. And that's what you've got. It was an emergency. I spilled cranberry juice on him. I mean, it's a nightmare getting to the washer dryer at hours, and I refuse to rehome Ken's blondies. Yeah, well, the lecky bill's gone through the roof. I've just had to pay a ton of tax. Butcher's put his prices up 15%. Okay, well, me and Daniel are gonna have a place of our own any minute, and then my clothing emergencies will be off the worry list, because we'll have our own dryer. Mm -hmm. Will you have a spare room? Because at this rate, I'm gonna have to bin off the pub and move in with you. Yeah, you love that place. <sighs> yeah, well, it doesn't mean I can keep it afloat. Sorry, Johnny. Be his birthday today and all. OK, you're knocking off early. And we're going to raise a toast to him tonight. No. Oh. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry. Uh, Carla, I just... Uh... Hi. Hi. Uh, I went to the pub earlier, but you weren't there, so... Nope. <laughs> Listen, I just wanted to apologise for yesterday. I was a bit... Bit aggressive, bit nasty. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, I deserved it. Well, some of it. That wasn't what you cop for. Is it an apology? Uh, yes, it is. Yes. Oh, oh well, good for him. Mm. You know, I'm not sure I'd apologise for someone who made me fall for a non-existent person. True. Though I've fallen for worse. That did exist, actually. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think of it like that. <laughs> I think it's always going to be complicated between them parents. Yeah. Hey, um, we're raising a glass for Johnny tonight in the pub. Come. Oh, yes. Hey, bring Ryan. I mean, he won't be anything fancy because you know I don't want to splash the cash just now. I'm just feeling the squeeze a bit. So. Yeah, aren't we all love? Yeah. But I've only got the place because of Johnny, so I want to celebrate that. Oh, yeah. celebrate you? What have I missed? Oh, uh, Johnny's birthday. Oh, you're marking it. Mm. Do you know what? I bet Gary would like to come along. Hey, wait, hey, we'll more the merrier. Yeah, yeah. Uh, six ish. He often talks about Johnny, you know. I think them two kept each other sane when they were in prison. Mm. Anyway, see you later. All right. See ya. I don't think we need to imagine about the prison stuff, do we? Yeah, well, if we only stick to his good traits, it might be a very short evening. Oh! <laughs> Sorry, Dad. She's right, though. <laughs> All right, I'll try and crowbar Ryan into coming. I'll see you later. All right, love. You've not invited Ryan. Was that an apology? Yeah. Good. So what's the problem? See how long I said you needed it. All right. OK, I'll call them. Sorry about this. Well, you might be happy. The party made both tonight. What's this? The balloon company I see in the clinic won't give any information over the phone, which is rubbish because Sarah spoke to them about the paternity thing over the phone. Still, I thought it might keep Daniel happy at least. <laughs> Why is that? No, it won't. Because he's dead against gender reveal parties. I, I, I work with kids, and some of them are struggling trying to figure out who they are, that's all. Wokemeister. It's tough for them. Anyway, I said I'll come. Why don't you just ring the clinic? Because I can't find out the gender and ruin the surprise. I can't find out before Sarah. No, she will kill you. Right, well, I'll call them then. Come on, give me the number. I'll liaise with the uh, balloon company and everything. You can't be cancelling it now. Right. Uh, I'll arrange cover so that you can talk to Eliza properly. Yeah, but, you know, we, we don't want to ruin a summer holiday. Nor can we deceive her. What exactly did the prison say? Well, I just sat the ghost today, moved her. You know, it's going to make visiting a lot tougher. Can they do that with, with a child involved? Uh, are you talking about me? Oh, sweetheart, um, yeah, um, it's just that your mum has moved somewhere new. She's out of prison? No, my love, it's a different prison. Where? Well, not far from where I'm from, uh, the northeast. B but we can still visit her, and you can video call her once a month. My screen's rubbish. It's all cracked. How will I see you properly? It's not the same. Hey. Hey. I've got your text. What's happened? Nothing. Don't panic. You okay? Yeah. No, it's just work stuff. Do you fancy dinner at the bistro tonight? I'll sort of babysitter for Harry. Sounds lovely. 
Well, that was easier than expected. I thought you'd be on about finishing leftovers and not be able to enjoy yourself because you can't drink. Well, yeah, that as well. But I love you, so, yeah. Sorry, I'm going to have to take this home. Um, expecting a call from a client. OK. Half six. I'm working late, so I'll see you there, OK? All right, see you there. Bye-bye. Hello, Sarah speaking. It's lovely to hear Sarah speaking. Damon, don't call me. Wait, hear me out. No, do not call me again. Well, you can request your passport back, but I don't think I'll give it back to you for a week in Magaluf. Give me a call when you get a court day, OK? Bye-bye. Ah, here he is, the balloon man. Well, spoke to the clinic, even pretended to be you, though without the accent. They need the reference number before they'll even speak to me. OK, don't worry, I'll call them. Well, just give me the reference number, I'll speak to them. It's fine, I'll do it. Just don't tell Sarah that I'll know the gender, otherwise I'll have to kill you. <sighs> or I could just buy a balloon that says it's a baby and we just celebrate that instead. Hey. Right, I'm going, OK. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to block this number. I'm going to block any number you contact me on, OK? Do not call me again, ever. <laughs> hey, have they ever cooked together before, Asher and Addy? Yeah, no chance. The kitchen looked like a food bomb, kind of. <laughs> oh, here she is. Did you get my text? Have you got some cumin? Did you run out of the shop? Um, I don't want my dad to know that we need any. He gave us a full jar. I knocked it over. Audi's fault. <laughs> you two should have a cooking show. It'd be hilarious. Well, if you want to come and see if it's edible, you'd be very welcome. Oh, oh, that'd be lovely. You'll come, won't you, son? Yeah, sure, if that's all right. Yeah. I mean, it did smell gorgeous. Just a shame the two chefs do nothing but row. <laughs> oh, here's a good one. Go back. Oh, yeah, they're laughing at me. <laughs> what had you said? Well, I burped and, you know, they're childish. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, yeah, get that printed up. Dev would love that. Show me them. Oh, what's that mark? I don't know, but I bet the printers will sort it out. I'll get them. Can I sit there? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, hi, Bernie. Um, could we get two teas and a strawberry milkshake, please? Yeah, of course you can. Thanks. Oh, we could move nearer the prison. Well, everything we have is here, our home, the restaurant. My mum's not. I know, I know. Did you get my text? Yeah, but it's hard to read because my screen is rubbish. Is it climbing you want to do or clinging? Both, probably. It's an indoor climbing wall at all. Mm, sounds exciting. Mm. If we can get there. Yesterday, my dad said he could take me, but now we sorted our party in the bistro. Oh, I can take you. I fancy a climbing wall myself. Is that a good idea? Well, it'll suit me more than your pub quizzes. That'd be amazing. Oh. Tell my dad. Oh, brilliant. Well, at least you can't fall off a pub quiz and break your neck. I'll be fine. And Eliza will catch me if I fall, won't you, love? Hey? <laughs> You've changed your tune. What? It's amazing what free booze does for your principles. It's not just about the gender of the baby. We're here to show that we're behind Adam and Sarah, actually. Oh, yeah. A sweep it under the carpet party. Pretend she didn't cheat on him. Tracy, they've moved on. You should as well. Well, you would say that. If we had a party to celebrate the end of all your affairs, never be without a volive on. <laughs> it's a girl. It's a boy. Oh, that's clever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there he is. Hey, uh, just wanted to say I'm sorry that I've not been more supportive about this party. And for what it's worth, I think you've been amazing. I'm not sure I would have coped if Sinead had dumped all this on me, all that DNA stuff. So, yeah, I'm glad it's worked out. 
You okay? Yeah. Yeah, it's just, uh, oh, it's been tough, you know? You've got to have trust, haven't you? Anyway, I'll, um, keep an eye out for sale. I'll text you when she arrives, okay? Yeah. I thought it was all right. What's only going to do the toast? I'll do it. I'll do it. Right. Oh. To Dad. Yeah. You're Johnny. Who was then? Um... <laughs> <laughs> do you know he'd be loving this when he was weeping and wailing over him? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Shall I get around the tissues, then? Oh, Ryan, you came. It was there started me off. You started me off? Oh, you both started me <laughs> off. I only nipped in to let you know Gary was working late, so I couldn't make it. She's been worse than anyone. <laughs> oh, no. She's a bit Aiden as well, isn't it? Yeah. I'm just thinking about Johnny being with him now. Both of them together. Yeah. Right. Right, um, well, should I get everyone a drink? Oh, Daisy's sorting it, yeah. It's on the house. Oh. <laughs> mm. I thought you stood us up. Yeah, well, Carl wouldn't take that. Well, good, I need you. They're one bottle of wine in and they're getting soppy. Worried I'm going to put my foot in it. I wasn't Johnny's biggest fan. Thought Jenny could do better. Oh, I hope you haven't said that. Of course not. Nor have I mentioned any armed robberies or women he was rumoured to fancy. Remind me not to book you to do a speech at my funeral. <sighs> Don't you dare have a funeral we've only just made up. Oh, it's a bit soon to joke, isn't it? Yeah, well, you can start by getting me a pint of zero in. Uh, yeah, I should switch to soft drinks myself. Don't want to say anything I'm going to regret. To, to Jenny. Yeah. Obviously. That's a funny one. You know me. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'm going to make this for Billa. They'll think the meds have made me gifted. <laughs> oh, these couture that are so light. Yeah, I should have forgotten the stuff and... They were your job. She's got memory like a literal sieve. Yeah, I took it away. Do you remember to give your sister her bracelet back? Yeah, yes, I did. Didn't I, Asha? Give you that bracelet, you dropped it. Yeah, yeah, we did. Good. There's an orb. There's a what? An orb. There's an orb. Ah, uh, look. See, I thought it was a, a flash or something. See that round light? Looks like it's floating. Mm, it's a shame. It's a lovely photo, though. Yeah, well, I asked them to remove it, but they charge too much. No, it's energy, is that? Right, I used to do yoga, and every photo you took, an orb. Well, some people think it's a spirit. Yeah, someone watching over you. Yeah, well, most people don't in any way. We are here honouring a loved one, not being superstitious, trying on a nose. Are we going to hide behind the counter? Oh, my crouching days are over, sweetheart. I'd never be able to get up. <laughs> crouching ground, hidden gale. I'd watch that. <laughs> Hey, action stations, everybody. Right, all on crouches into the office. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Quick, 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 quick. We're gonna be gone. Quick, quick, quick. Oh. Hey, uh, table for two? Yeah, that's... Oh, it's very quiet. Who's around? Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's not my birthday. No. This one's a birthday for somebody else. Uh, nice segue, Graham. <laughs> Here's a segue, one of those school tree things. What's the party for, then? Well... It involves a balloon, if that's a clue. Gender reveal. Hey, who knew, eh? Uh, is it all right if I can say a few things just while we're waiting? Could we have a drink first? Yeah, all right, Tracy. Right, would anyone prefer lager? Oh, shut up, Simon. Carry on, Sarah. OK, I just, I just want to say that... Like, I know how much upset I've caused, and I just really want to apologise for that. And I know how lucky I am, like, really lucky to have a man who is so understanding and committed and strong and, and caring, and I love you so much, so thank you. And thank you, everyone. I just think this is the beginning of everything getting back on track, so... Oh, to Adam, Sarah and the bump. Oh, Adam, Sarah. Hey. 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 OK, shall we? Oh, no, no, don't. My dad's just gone to get his camera. Nice, what she said. Wish I could be that articulate after a load of people jump out at me. Hey, should we get a selfie? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, right, I, I, I need a pee, genuinely. No, you can have a photo taken when you've got a full body, you know. <laughs> well, oh, come on, come right. on. In fact, can we use your camera? Because your camera's better. Isn't it? Yours is newer, isn't it? Your camera's better, take it, right? All yours. 
Oh, please. Come on, hurry up. Can I upload oh. this to my timeline? Help yourself. Get us all in. Oh. Please. Say Johnny. 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 Mm. And pout. I think that's it. No. You know what we should do? We should get a really rubbish photo of Ryan and Photoshop it in, making we should sat down and bin in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, another drink. Yeah. Sean! Sean! Right. We're thirsty. Yeah. Uh, why wasn't I invited onto this selfie? Oh, <laughs> well. <laughs> oh, oh, hello. Who's that hottie? Let's see. Ooh. <gasps> Have you just posted that? <laughs> I'm not being funny, Carla, but they don't look like Peter's ass. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? What have you done? Uh, what? Oh. Did you know about the party? No. No, it was a lovely surprise. Are you nervous? No. What do you think it's going to be? I think you should do. Do you not want to do it together? No, I think you should do it. <laughs> All right, ready? Drum roll, please. Five, four, three, two, one. This has got to be Damon. What did you say to him? How has he found out about the party? It was not for me. It wasn't Damon. It was me. The baby's yours. You've got proof. You've got that letter. Fake. Like her. Oh, when are we getting the quiet time we keep imagining? Not while your family have anything to do with it, Ken. Hey, this is at your door. Ma'am, help me with it. Oh, now is not the time, Gail. Go. Oh, yes, it is. Why didn't you just talk to me? Here. This is the real letter. I went to the clinic. Turns out they don't give info over the phone like you said they do. I can't explain all of it. Not a bad fraud job. I know a few criminals you could work for. That's me, my fault. Sarah didn't want this. It's true, isn't it? The baby's demons. Yeah. Hey, it's, it, it, it's, it's me. I, I, I forged the letter. I don't care. Honestly, I don't care. Just stay away. Honest mistake. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's my stupid big fat sausage fingers ticking too many photos. Private picture. I know, Ryan. I know. I'm so sorry. I really am. I'd, I've taken it down. I just. I'm sorry. No wonder the pub's on its knees if you give him Carla enough free booze to do that to Ryan. It was a mistake. And it's not like it was a picture of him slouching his wife once with a bowl of Chris on his big I mean, have another look at it. Well, Carla's taking it down now, so... Anyway, I best get going, guys. Thanks very much for the drinks, Jen. I hope Ryan's all right. Bye, love. Hey, uh... Well, I've screenshotted it. <laughs> Sean? It's just a pity he's cut his head off, isn't it? I mean, you should see the likes and the comments. Show me the comments. It's official. He's a ten. Hench. They're all about his arms. Oh, not you and all. Oh. oh. No, Ryan, I wasn't even... Ryan! Well done. Well, thank you. I think your mother would say not too bad, that, which is a very high compliment coming from her. Mm. I wish we did proper things to mark anniversaries like mm. this. Mind you, 
If we were honouring my dad, we'd be having cod chips and a mug of tea. <laughs> <laughs> we should start selling hot food in the shop. Me and Ash are top chefs. Oh. <sighs> what, fight in the back room, eh? <laughs> yeah, you could start a flight in the documentary. Yeah. Yeah. See who kills who first. Yeah, there'd just be two orbs floating around the shop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but now it's not a documentary and it's like a uh, sci-fi. <laughs> no, I'm not making it up. Yeah. Right, I looked it up earlier. Orbs are the manifestation of energy connected to spirits. Often seen in photos and videos, they are believed to be the visible evidence of the ghosts of loved ones. Yeah, believed by whom? You really think dead people hang around watching us? Like, see everything? No, of course not. Guys, this is like a, a lens flare or a technical glitch. Come on, Bernie, there's a time to replace it. It isn't here, is it now? Right, it shows that there's a presence. <sighs> That's all I'm saying. I mean, look. Look. Look at that. Right? But it's right in the middle of the two of them. I mean, that's that's got to be Sunita, right? No. Honey, listen, we are here. We are remembering my children's mother. These are memories. We're not trying to conjure her up like we're in some tin pot seance. OK. OK, I'm sorry. Oh, Look, I, I didn't mean on. to spoil everything. Mum. Please, can I see Adam? Yeah. No, no. Yes. No, no. Oh. It's saying whatever comes into your head to manipulate people, Sarah. Please, I just, I really need to talk to him. No, you don't. You need to turn around and take your cheating mind games as far away from here as possible. Tracy, that's enough. Thank you. It's Tracy I was trying to protect from herself. I think you should stay away, Sarah. Adam deserved better. Let him grieve for the future that you let him believe in. We can still have that future, Ken. Can somebody clear the trash off our doorstep, please? Anybody? Wanderer's return. Yeah. I'll walk you home, Sam. I'm off to the pub quiz anyway. Can I have your Wi-Fi code first, please? So I can send photos to Eliza. Certainly. I don't want to use all my data. I don't want the photos, thanks. Oh, Eliza, can we drop this now? It turns out I am too embarrassing. I bet if my dad would have been there, he would have been worse. And he's not as old, so there's no excuse. What on earth did you do? She should be proud. Her granddad climbing to the top of the wall. I saw a boy recording the noises on his phone. They were all laughing. What noises? Uh, <clears throat> <laughs> hey, it was hard work, that wall. You make that noise when you get out of a chair. <laughs> Can you just walk Sam home now, please? I'm tired. See you, Eliza. Thank you, Stu. I won't be late back. Right, well, um... Can I get you some milk or something? No, thanks. <sighs> See? Why can't I just have a normal mum and dad? You always were rubbish at hide and seek. Believe me. <sighs> I can't go home. I've lost him. He didn't have to be so cruel. Uh, it was me that was being cruel. Kidding myself I could make it work. I think it still can work. Damon is the dad. Only by DNA. I mean, Max is mine in everything but his genes. For good, for bad, disastrous, you know? I'm his dad. Well, the way I see it, I mean, Adam's got a choice, hasn't it? He? he can either miss out because he's, he's angry at you that you lied, or 
can get over himself and it can be the dad of this kid when it's born. Adam doesn't feel like that. He doesn't think that way. I just... He's never going to forgive me. Do you want him to? Yeah, I do. I really love him. Well, then just go talk to him. <sighs> you know, what are you doing hiding here? No. <laughs> I just want to start again. No, you don't. Do you know why? Because this kid, boy, girl, whatever the balloon was going to say it is, all right? It's ours. And we'll all bring it up. Together, we're all going to help. It's going to need all the help it can get. I mean, it's got Max as a cousin. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You'll be fine. You'll sort it out. Just talk to him. I mean, you haven't got anything else to lose, have you? So, this great big balloon comes bouncing out of the box and guess what it says on it? Go on. It's Damon. <gasps> hey, is that about Ryan? No! Has he not texted back yet? How long's he been here? Daniel's been looking for him. Oh, hey! How's Ryan? Oh, he's not the flat. He'll come back when he's ready. I left him a note anyway. Right, it's about time I bought you a drink. You can't keep shrinking your profit margins for me. What profit margins? Oh, yeah. Forgot. Hey, Jenny, it's not just you, you know. It's all the pubs. They're all suffering. It's all the businesses, actually. Our oh, lucky Bill's a joke. Oh, no, it's just... It's, it's today, isn't it? Just thinking how Johnny would feel. i tell you how we wouldn't feel. Sentimental. He'd do everything in his power to make this business profitable again, and if it didn't work, he'd move on. He wasn't a quitter. No, he wasn't. He was practical. There's a difference. Sit down. That was quick. Hey, don't start. She deserved it. Oh, well, it doesn't seem to have made you happy. I've texted her. Told her to stay away from the flat. I'm going to go down and collect my things. Where are you going to stay? Peter's sofa. I should stay put and chuck it out. I should probably cling on to the door for him. Well, you are going to have to talk to her. You can't just disappear. Why not? Harry. Right. You missed pudding. Don't worry, it wasn't made by Addy and Asher. Dev got it from the shop. <laughs> I, uh, I saw a face in it. I think it was Stephen Fry. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 you laugh at me. I get it. Yeah, but what if? What if what? Well, what if there's, there's more? Right, summer. Somewhere. You mean God? No. Dunno. I mean like um like like beyond us or after us. I reckon we'd know. Not by laughing it all off. And you never met my nan, but she believed there was something more and when she was dying, she's What? Oh, I've never told anyone this, and... Go on. Well, when she was dying, she said... If there was a way, any way, that then she'd let me know. And then the night she died... There was an owl that An owl? Come on, ma'am, it was probably just an owl. What, in the middle of Salford? A lost owl? Fine. Fine, your mother is Doolally Tap. Oh, come on, I didn't say that. Honestly, I wish I could believe it. You know, that there's something more going on. If I thought I still might be around after, or someone somewhere was looking out for me, it might make things a bit easier. Hey, 
I was just coming up to see you. I only want a drink. You just mean home. I thought I heard her. No, that was Alia. She brought me something that I'd like to give you. What is it? Well, sit down and I'll show you. I'm sorry. I know it's tough having grandparents for parents. When can I see my mum? Well, now, I, I am going to get your phone screen fixed, don't worry, but... There you are. So when you video call your mum, you'll be able to see her face clearly. I mean, you know, I might be some old fuddy-duddy. A what? A fuddy-duddy. An old codger. But I, I do know my tech. Uh, well, at least Alia does, and she kindly went out and picked it up for me. Thank you. So, am I forgiven? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Great. Right, well, you get yourself off to bed, and I'll bring you that milk. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're here. I was going to send out the sniffer dogs. Nice evening. Well, it was. Till I ruined it. I'm so sorry, lovey. All right. At least they'll have a new picture to throw at the dartboard. Jenny Daisy can aim for me belly button. Well, oh, Ryan, do you really even care what either of them thinks? I mean, maybe what one of them thinks. Maybe the Daisy one. Would that make it easy for you? If I was upset because of her, rather than because you made me look like a proper tool. Oh, but I didn't. I didn't. If anybody looked like a proper tool, it was me. I've not felt so incompetent since the day I sent a reply all to the entire workforce, asking if they thought Beth should tone down her outfit. It doesn't come close. Oh, Ryan, listen, I can't keep apologising. But I know there's two things. It wasn't the best day for me today, what with it being my dead dad's birthday and number two. Everybody thought you were hot. Yeah, right, yeah. Yeah, right. Should have seen the comments. And that's what Daisy was looking at in the pub, by the way. You know, everybody said you were hench, whatever that means. I presume it's good. Hey, I'll get Sean to send you the comments on a screenshot. All right, I need to do my cardio. Oh, for goodness sake, Ryan. No, have a beer with me. Listen, it's not healthy to do exercise more than once a day or once a month in my case. Just, you need some chill time. Here. Hmm. Three, two, one, stop! Um, <laughs> right, you'll go, Addy. <laughs> two plates and a pan. Uh, it was more than you managed on your last go. Anyway, there's only one pan left and it's all yours. Pub. Defo. Mm -hmm. Is that all right, Dev? Yeah, no, of course, and thank you, Anne Hyatt. Oh, thank you. Mm. Look, it's, um, it's not about what you said. Well, not totally. Okay. It just feels bad that we missed the actual anniversary date. OK, see you. See you later. Yeah. This needs a soak. You mean you'd rather be replying to all the texts you've been getting, son? It really does need a soak. I should burn it. Yeah. I'll do that, love. Just leave it to soak. Ta. See ya. Bye. I'm sorry if I was disrespectful. No, oh, maybe just a little bit mistimed. Well, they say stick to what you're good at and mistiming stuff. Superpower for mm, me. Nobody arguing with that. Yeah, but we don't know, do we? We don't really know don't what know. happens. Don't start. OK. Mm. So, come on, do you really believe that Sunita's watching us? Well, Sunita, if you are watching, I am doing my best with him, and it's not always easy. And um, Listen, I'm sorry if I was rude. Apology accepted. Mm. But those kids, they did good today, didn't they? Yeah, well, if Sunita is watching, I hope she knows what a good job you've done with a pair of them. Thank you. Right. Hey. Leave that. I'm a boss. Oh, yeah. Hey, shall I bring the pan? Let it salt with us. <laughs> you could. But just you will be fine. <sighs> oh. 
Hi. I thought I said stay away. Can you just please let me explain? Yeah, you got pregnant by Damon. Well, I mean, today, this week. I didn't, I didn't want to know. I did not want to know the paternity test results because I didn't care. Because I have a man who I love so much and I know he's an amazing dad and there's this innocent baby on the way. Have you seen my headphones? I know it's all my fault, but please, Adam, like, we could start again. Like, there's no more secrets now. We could like, accept the truth and... Oh, we could become this amazing family. And I know you love Harry like he's your own baby. Maybe you could feel the same way about this baby. Headphones. Adam, I know I've hurt you. Sorry, I had a bad day today. Oh, Tom. Chuckies? Yeah, always. You gonna share them with me? No, nah, I'm all right. I'm, I'm gonna go to bed, actually. Hey, did you read them comments I sent you over? I reckon one Chucky's not gonna spoil that body of yours, is it? Yeah. Save me one. Night. Night. I thought you'd be gone. <laughs> Look, Sarah, it's the lies. Lie after lie after lie. How could I ever trust you? Because now you know everything. We both do. The affair, the DNA. You even pretended the party was a surprise, didn't you? Well, does that matter? Yeah, it does, because it shows you how good you are at it, the lying. Well, obviously I'm not, because you guessed that I knew. Adam, come on, please. It's not like you've never lied to me, you've never hurt me. But that's the thing. We can never trust each other, could we? Of course we could. We could. A baby, Sarah. You lied to me about my baby something that big, that important, you knew what it meant to me. I'm sorry, but we're done. Say bye to Harry for me. Investigating the dark world of cyberstalking and incels in our brand new series, Law with Whitmore Investigates. Stream it now on ITVX. We are back with more action from Down Under as Portugal take on the US in the FIFA Women's World Cup 2023 live from 7.30. All new long lost families here next. <laughs>